Alright, and welcome back to Green Hell. Uh, we're continuing on from the previous episode where we found this abandoned gold mine where basically they were had some slaves that were digging for gold and the, everyone started dying. They thought it was malaria, possibly something else, and there was a little bit of a tidbit of basically saying that the tribes people knew what was going on and that it was uh, the children of the tribes people that held the key in their blood. There was a little bit of a hint there. It was... Uh, some of the stuff going on. Um, I thought this was a safe place. In, in my previous playthrough, this was a very, very safe spot. Uh, apparently not. I'm getting quite a lot of lag this time. Harvest that. Uh, and yes, I had some villagers come through, and it's possibly because it's King of the Hill playthrough as to why that's going on. Because the uh, villagers do attack. Go and get some of these bananas. My carbohydrates aren't a hundred percent. Problem is, I'm going to be overweight regardless of what I do here. Eat one of them. What can we ditch? Yeah, right. That's good enough. So, the idea for this time around, I'm going to search this little circular area here just to complete off anything that I might need, and then it's off to the Lambda Two location, and we'll see if we can get into the unknown region of the map. Trouble's gonna be if I run into another Jaguar. I'm due to run into one. There's a lame mouse. There it is. <gasps> Did I get it? One shot? <laughs> Dude, it's a puma. All right, what do we get for harvesting a puma? Puma. What? It's rattling away there. What have we got? It's just big cat stuff. Okay, so I would have got another big cat um, fang. Big cat meat's going away because I can't carry stuff. All right. Where are you? Done. Wiped them out apparently. Still missing one area though, and I think I shot that off into the distance, which is uh, not going to help. Oh, hello. Smoker. Yeah, very nice. Water. I'll wash myself off. Let's do it. Uh oh. Shit, I can hear it. Can't see it. <coughs> Got it. Just barely see that. Look at that. Puma. Puma is done though. New map location. We are. Oh, broken aeroplane. Yeah, there he is up there. Hell yeah. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, you probably don't want to hide in there. 
title of the Bergen airplane. Is there anything useful here? Just keep an eye out for anything stupid that's gonna attack me here. Hey Mia, I think I found a crash plane. Really? How, ah. how big is it? Oh my god, any corpses inside? Well, no, no, don't tell me. Nice. Is there a flight number? 815? How long ago did it crash? Do you have any idea what happened to it? Jake? Jake? Hang on, hang on. What? Sorry. I was just taking it all in. It looks like it was rather small. Just a few seats, but pretty new. It doesn't seem like it's been here long. But, yeah, this wasn't an accident. It was shot down. Shit. That'd be part of the drug cartel, probably. I don't want to repeat myself, but please be careful. Whoever did it must have already scavenged everything that they could. Yeah, it looks like it's done. Is this it? Hmm. New map location. Where's this one? There. Oh. Okay. Look for scorpions. Hello, scorpion. <laughs> Oh, that's not, uh... Oh. So you can fall down there accidentally. A different part of the cave. Lots of rocks here. Gain more stuff where you can... What's that noise? I wonder if that was the rock there. Scorpion. Oh, we go down anyway. Okay. So that must be if you fall down, you come through this way. Oh gosh, there's tons of rocks everywhere. Iron nodes which are depleted. Ah, and we're through. Right. Wow. So we are here on the map. So I could go straight to the Lambda 2 location or I could go back to that initial shelter. Oh dear. We might as well go straight to the Lambda. I'm looking pretty good on my uh, vitals. Definitely in need of a drink of water. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Such a. Uh, Full noise. Alright, lots of bamboo. Stone hinge. Nice. Ayahuasca time. Don't really need any of this stuff. I mean, lily flowers are nice and all, but. Lambda 2 is. Stonehenge. Ah, yes, so there's the spirit gateway. This rock again. If Mia was right about the painting, there's only one way. The little kid again. Butterflies. So bright. Trippin'. Alright, here we go. Hmm. 
So slow. I wonder if I'll know that now when I'm back in the game. What's his name? Blue Indigo Blue Leptonia. Shaman with rituals. Any other good stuff? The fungus used by the natives can be found in darkened corridors of caves. Well, I haven't seen any fungus. Let's talk about mushrooms. Hmm, completely new species. Well, there you go. Now what, am I done? I seem to recall I got stuck on this one the first time around. Like you come in here and you read all this stuff and you're like, what else am I meant to do? Well, you leave. or global warming. We don't think about such things until it's too late. Payment of 70,000. Yeah, there's a little blurb on basically what you were doing in terms of the lost tribes. Invoice. Pharmacy, so there's a a little bit hint of basically Mia. She's um, got a massive, massive bill. Yeah, 200,000 US dollars for uh, her treatment as such. Um, oh yeah, but it's in on insurance obviously there as well, but um, still, all that stuff. And yeah, a meeting in the office. Let people read them as they want to. You can pause the game they and have a read. They only care about themselves until tragedy strikes. Book, 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 book. People just don't care. It wasn't any different this time. No one took an interest in them. Unless there was some money to be made. Mortified that no self-respecting scientist would ever write something like this. <laughs> I offer no regards. Anyway, that's that part done, I believe. More books on the floor. You think I'm selfish just like everyone else, don't you? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have just given up. What happened? Why are you here? I know what drove us. But it doesn't justify anything. If not for me, you wouldn't have to go back to the jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the greatest challenges in medicine. Does the reader of natives who never get sick? I'll let people read that as they can. Basically it talks about uh, medicines that could come out of the uh, jungle. 
malignant tumor, metastasis, change in the right lung, lymph nodes. It's all things like cancer type things. Cancer diagnosis based on examination. Yeah, so it is cancer. That sort of gives you an insight that you're potentially in the jungle for curing me as cancer. Mia, I, I, I didn't know. All rested up, all full vitals. Very, very good. I think there's anything else I want here. Mia, I, I drank another dose of ayahuasca, and, but why didn't you tell me you were sick? Jake. Is that why we were here? Yabawaka have a remedy and we were going to get it for you? If only it was that simple. I would have told you already. Then why don't you just do it? I'm afraid you won't get back to me, and all I want is for you to be safe. Whatever it is, Mia, please tell me. Please, Jake. Just keep going. If you can't make it, neither can I. Let's just not bring this up again until you're safe, okay? I don't understand any of it, but I know I have to find you. Let's just focus on that, please. We are through. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Crocodile. Hmm. I suppose my arrows will probably take it down. Not overweight. That would give me some interesting meat. Okay, take that. What's that noise? Oh, it's just music. Okay. <sighs> found a I camp. found a camp. It looks abandoned, but clearly someone's been living here for a long time. Any idea who it might have been? Well, I did read somewhere that a few years back, an Englishman walked the entire <laughs> length smoke. of the Amazon River, and it took him over two years <sighs> worlds full of passionate Some people bamboo. yeah i know but something here doesn't add up I need to rebuild this it looks as maybe. if they just disappeared like leaving all their gear that just doesn't make sense that is strange but maybe it's a good thing you can just grab what you need yeah doesn't look like anybody will be needing any of that mm-hmm Mud. Oh, it will let me build on there. Brilliant. Alright, so this seems to be like a fairly uh, nice spot, albeit that um, the caiman are a bit of a problem. Hmm, there's a little path across over there too. So I might actually spend a fair bit of time just upgrading this spot. Uh, and make it my own, get the mud brick stuff back up and running. Um, don't know if I'll find much iron ore, but I have the option to basically travel back and forth over to where I've been and potentially pick up some more iron and we use it. Uh, this can be like a bit more of a main base. It's even a uh, fishing rod, which would be pretty cool. We can actually fish here, get some fun stuff. All right, after much... Uh deliberation and crafting and a fair bit of time spent uh, I'm still working on quite a number of things but I've got a little 2x2 two two shack uh, in here we've got a bit of a drying thing going on I actually have some meat in here that's already dried 
uh, the crocodile keeps turning up every now and then. I kill it and I dried some of its meat, uh, which has been quite handy. Uh, for the most part, this ends up being quite an idyllic location. Uh, just to remind people, I guess, of where we're at. You can't actually see it. You actually come across here and into this area, um, and you basically find a little island with a dead uh, snake. I think it's an anaconda. Um, and, yeah, as long as you stay on this little island, uh, you're relatively safe. I haven't added anything other than the Black Cayman, uh, and it seems to be very predictable in terms of its location over there. You can actually see it when it's there, when you wander over, it notices you and comes over, and you just kill it. It takes like three arrows, and it's dead. Um, the villagers, uh, the, the tribesmen have left me alone, which has been wonderful. But when I did go for a bit of a wander up there, out of this island, I started hearing the tribesmen, and then they actually pathed in. They destroyed a few things, and I had to rebuild it. But um, it seems that as long as I'm actually on this island, they leave me alone, which is fantastic. And there's fish here, just off to each side. There's like uh, the capybaras. Uh, there's banana trees on this little bit of an island. Uh, amongst other things and so it, there really seems to be a bit of everything um, you can basically get all of the various different you know, proteins carbohydrates water and fats and so you can live quite comfortably and so I've built a whole bunch of things and it's actually kind of an amusing one here this is a water filtration unit so I've got a ready accessible supply of water at the moment and I'm going to continue uh, I haven't found enough of the poo um, got three droppings I need more uh, or I need to basically work out if there's something other than the the droppings that you can use as fertilizer maybe I could use some spoiled meat I'm not entirely certain but um, I want to try and plant at least one of every plant here and I'm gonna basically just go all nuts here and just um, you know make this my permanent base of operations albeit that I know that once I start doing the quest again I'm probably gonna abandon all this but, you know it happens I just want to, for the sake of the series, uh, go to the trouble of actually building everything. Anyway, I'm going to work out what I'm going to do about the uh, fertilizer for these plots, and I'm going to plant a few things. So we'll, um, no, that's the other thing I should go down over here. Uh, one of these existed already. Um, these are the shellfish traps. You can see there's actually lots of prawns actually stuck in there. And these prawns, you can actually eat them, which is actually quite nice, without actually cooking them first. And yeah, they just give you protein. You can cook them and it gives you more. Um, and in this large trap, there's a couple of piranha in there, but you get different types of fish that turn up in there. And you don't even need to put the bait in there. Uh, so you can actually put the lava in there and that's the bait, but it's not necessary. You can just wait over time and um, yeah, they just turn up. More. What's this fish doing? Yeah, apparently I can't actually uh, grab that fish anymore. There we go. So yeah, got a couple more fish meat. I don't know what the fish meat is. I haven't tried eating that yet, but when it's cooked, basically, it's just like every other thing. It gives you, although that's the capybara there, it gives fats. Uh, but most meats will give you protein and energy. And so lots of protein, lots of energy, just to keep me going. All right, I'll see what I can do about uh, fertilizer. Let's have a look at what's available. I have deliberately left this alone until I got to this point. So we read the map and that doesn't tell me much other than the fact that the plane flies that way. Cool. Dialogue unlocked. Did it show anything on my map? No. Uh, no I wasn't just seeing things. So people can read this as they like. People basically wandering through, city folk by their appearance, so on and so forth. A little bit of information obviously about what this camp's all about. We wander over this side, a lizard. Ooh, can. Lizard make a noise. Another note. Again, you can pause and read that if you like. Obviously, it's going to give you a little bit more information about the people that are here. I uh, don't need to jump on the leaf bed. Another notebook. There you go. Joe's dead. Yabawak or Dactus. Oh no, Joe had the map. 
So yeah, let's go and uh, find the rest of the map. More information that people can... Oh, that's actually got a thing. So if I go there, hold for a sec so you can pause it. Then I scroll down. And again, you can then pause it. There you go. People can read that if they want to. Oh, nice, two cans. Uh, I was actually short on metal. I have to relight these things. Um, but what I have is I have two metal cast uh, armor pieces. And I just used all my metal to create uh, armor heads and a new axe. But I was curious to make some metal armor. And with the two tins that I just now got, I can make enough for two metal armor pieces. So I might do that while I'm waiting for these plants to grow up. Because I've still got plenty of time. I should have the four on me. We now have six on me. Beautiful. Uh, we should probably be grabbing some of those, right? So it was three metal, some rope, and a banana leaf. So if we take one of them. We... No, no, not harvest. Silly. Take one of them again. Luckily, I've got heaps of them. Craft. Metal. 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 And then we chuck a rope in there or two. We get metal armor. Well, there you go. We look at the other leg. Chuck the armadillo arm off. And metal armor it is. Done. I now have two pieces of metal armor. And there's not really enough room in there for the armadillo armor. It's tempting to make a second box. There we go. As much as that's actually completely filled that box, um, it means that if I ever come back here, I will have the ability to recover that armadillo armor uh, if needed. Well, I think I've managed to showcase uh, just about everything that I kind of wanted to for this episode. We've got ourselves a nice little base set up. Uh, it's a nice little safe place. I've made some metal armor. Uh, I harvested the tobacco plant in the end. Uh, made some more bandages. And um, I'm still waiting for the lily one to grow. I'll probably make a bandage out of that too. Uh, these still have a bit to go. I'm probably not going to worry about waiting for the banana, but I definitely want to wait for this one. It has some nice fruit. Uh, other than that, it's going to be moving on to the next episode where I then have to basically e explore a bit further because I'm kind of here on the map where it's all burnt off. Uh, so we need to find the next part of the map and actually uh, progress the story which will be uh, good fun to do. But, yes, I'm liking this little spot here that I've actually built for myself. And, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed it too. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Catch you later.